Hello, this is Klopop321. This is my first PHP tutorial. First of all, I would like to point out that PHP starts with the tags of PHP. It starts with the question mark and the less than symbol and then PHP, which short tags do not require this. However, it's usually best to use um, with the PHP for support reasons across all servers. And then it ends with a question mark and then greater than symbol your code goes within it. Now some rules are that first of all variables always start with a dollar sign except that the only variables that do not use a dollar sign are constants however once you set them you cannot really change them. The way you set a constant is by doing define and then you're going to name it so if I named happy I could set it as 22 now if I did echo happy then it would give me 22 in my page we'll just leave that in the back for future use now variables always start with a dollar sign so if you're trying to save some information you need to put it into a variable to where you can retrieve it later. If you're trying to retrieve information that the user is sending you, you're going to use some of these underscore ones, such as get post request. Session are session variables are variables that you can save that go between pages. However, the user um, does not save that data themselves; it's saved on the server itself for a temporary amount of time. Now. Let's start with a, a simple variable like a number. Let's say one. If we go echo dollar sign simple, then we're going to get back the variable simple on the page. If I save this under my uh, my tutorial files here, I can save it as a. Uh, simple.php and I can take a look over here I'll, request, I'll refresh it and I click on simple.php and I get a 1 if I change this simple to 2 and save it go back to Firefox it says 2 now if I wanted to get information from the user like what they want it to be I could say request which handles both post and get and say s so we're basically telling PHP to echo back what the user has put into the uh, the URL link for it S equals 20 or 33. We get 33. S equals socks. We get socks. However, if we want it to be a number where we cast the variable as an integer, we save it. We go back and since socks is not really a number, it's going to give us zero. However, since it's converting to an integer, if we do a partial number or a a real number that's not an integer like 1.2 we're going to get 1 if we do 1.9 we're still going to get 1 but if we do 2 we get 2 it, it floors it which uh, takes off all the decimal points basically now what is this echo here this echo means that it will return the information to the client um, what is after it. You can also use print, however it's not too t traditional, it's usually used as a function. Now if we want to do something like uh, like taking the simple variable as a number and saying this person wants three tires and 
simple is going to be how many tires they have and we're going to say each cost uh, happy dollars now we're going to want to tell the user back how much they have to pay we'll have to do echo dollar sign tires and then go back and then also when you're when you're putting strings together or numbers even um, but you're echoing it as a string now a string is a bunch of text just to be simple um, you have to use a comma or a period to concatenate them together now we're going to say we're going to use the simple uh, quotes I'll, t I'll show you in a future tutorial what the difference is between the simple and the double quotes are but for now I'm just going to just to let leave that empty now we're going to say you need to pay us and then we're going to have the price here and then continue it in in cash today for your and then we're going to put in dot simple because we want to say in cash for your three tires well we're going to go and end this with like a sentence save it go back to Firefox and refresh you need to pay us $44 in cash today for your two tires if I change it to 3 in the link then it's 66 really really simple as you can see this um, is a constant and that does not have a dollar sign on it but this does because it can change this also does because it can also change let's say we want to make tires plus tax Kentucky tax is 1.06 basically 6 percent we're going to times this by what it already is and save it they're going to go here and they're going to pay us 69.96 in cash for your three tires that's pretty much how simple it is how if I if I tried saying happy equals two as a, as text I'm probably going to get an error as you can see it has a parse error and in my editor it's also saying obviously you have a problem that's all I'm going to do today and signing off club of 321